Warning, religious dogmatic diets can be very dangerous for people. So I recently announced in a video after around six years, I am no longer vegan. If you haven't seen that video, I put a link for up above. There's many videos on my channel that have come after that that you can search up and meet in certain animal foods such as beef burgers and eggs and so on. So if you're interested in those, you can check them out on my channel. So due to me no longer being vegan, there has been so many dogmatic vegans throw all of their dogma at me. And I don't want to just focus upon vegan diets because there's so many different types of diets out there that are very religious and dogmatic, such as the carnivore diet, the keto diet, the vegan diet, and so on. And I don't want to say every single person that follows these types of diets and various other types of diets are always dogmatic, but a lot of people that put themselves in a box and put a label on themselves, they just start to become massively dogmatic with their diet and they tend to try and force it on every single different person and say oh this diet is the best in the world this one and this one and this one and because it works for me it must work for you and everyone else in the world which is just a very limited way to be in your mind because we are not all the same we all live many different lifestyles we have different genetics we're from different parts of the world so just because it works for you doesn't mean it will work for me and so on. And so many people, they just tend to listen to the teachers of these diets and take on their dogmatic views. And it's not necessarily their own thought processes around this and their own belief systems. They fully embody that and then they just spread it around the world like crazy. And it seems that if you do not believe what they believe, just like with religious people, they will hate on you and say what you're doing is dangerous and wrong. And it's just becomes this like really, really bad interaction between humans. We have so much separation in the world. We do not need more walls between people whatsoever. We need more connection, compassion and empathy for all beings, no matter what diet they're on. And for me, even when I was a vegan for so many years, I didn't care what anyone else was eating. As long as they were doing what they wanted to do, then that was fine with me. Yes, I made a lot of videos on veganism, so in case someone wanted to listen to my information and maybe get on the vegan diet at the time because I thought it was the best diet, then that was up to them. But I never once forced my views down people's throats. Unlike when I used to be a raw vegan. Oh my God, I know so many of these raw vegans. Oh, did... They're some of the worst. They're the most dogmatic ones out there. They have so many ideologies that they've learned from certain raw food teachers. And most of them look very weak, skinny and fragile and look like their hormone production's messed up. And they look like they have so many like nutrient deficiencies where they look so malnourished. And then they're telling me it's the best diet and you should be eating this. I've had loads of them messaging me. They're like, what are you doing? You just need to eat loads of fruit and fast more and that's going to resolve your issues. And then you can stay on like a raw vegan diet or a vegan diet. And it's just like, oh man, I listened to those people and I followed it for around two years. And guess what happened? I ran into so many micronutrient deficiencies. It messed up my testosterone production, my dopamine production. And it induced such a whole host of negative effects within me that's having such a negative effect on my life. And it was just because I put myself in that box. And do you know how many people I've seen that time and time again with many different diets, more specifically the raw vegan diet, but other ones as well. It's just like endless amounts of people. And I'm not saying that a raw vegan diet's bad or a carnival diet or a paleo diet, any diet for that matter of fact. There's a lot of diets that a lot of people resolve their health issues on and thrive on short term and long term, but not every single person. So it's about listening more to our body and instead not letting our ego get in the way and other people's views and beliefs being induced within us and not listening to all this outside information. Your body knows best. It is the best teacher, but most people are very disconnected from their body. So you need to become more in tune. And this is what happens with so many vegans time and time again. The diet works for them early on. And I've noticed this time and time again, most vegans thrive for around a year or so. And then they start to go downhill and then they start to blame like stress or lack of sleep or exercising too much or some other things. And they just become very in denial that it's the diet that is affecting them in a negative way. And they just want to blame everything else rather than the diet they're on because they just have such a dogmatic view towards their diet. And a lot of time people's whole identity is built around their diet. 
And for me, guess what I'm gonna do from now with my diet? I'm not saying that I eat any diet whatsoever unless I go to do a specific type of diet for an extended period of time and I wanna do some sort of like 30 day video with it that would do very well on YouTube. But yeah, it's just like, phew, seriously man, I am that I am. I don't need to be a vegan or this or that or that. And to be honest, all that exists is the present moment. Sometimes I'm a fruitarian, I'm just eating fruit. Then the next time I'm just eating meat, so I'm carnivore then. The past is gone and the future hasn't yet happened. And yeah, if you look at the world, what does religion do? It causes separation in the world and these type of people from this religion hate this one and this person from this religious background and so on. And that's what so many people are doing with their diet. The carnivores tend to hate and not like the vegans. The vegans don't like the carnivores. The carnivores don't necessarily agree with all the keto people. Then the paleo people don't like the vegans. And it's just like, come on, man. Like, I just want everyone to get along. As long as someone is doing nothing that harms me or my loved ones around me, then that is absolutely fine. Just with like people that have different sexual preferences. I don't care whether they're gay or not. It's just down to them. They're their own person, then they can make their own choices. And I may not agree with what they are doing, and it may not be in alignment for me, but I'm not going to judge them and hate on them and just throw loads of slander at them because all it's gonna do is make me not feel good. It's gonna rub them up the wrong way. They're gonna get triggered and it's just like, it's a lose-lose situation. So it doesn't make sense to be like that at all, at least from my own perspective. So with any diet, it's about trying to be as undogmatic as we possibly can to have the healthiest relationship with food and ourselves, in my opinion and just having our mind open to everything and attached to nothing. So if it's not working for you, it's like instead of holding on for it longer than is serving you in a positive way where it's really detrimental for you, it's deteriorating, it's like keep your mind open and then just start experimenting with some other foods. See if they work for you. If they do, continue eating them. If they don't, then don't. But what I'd always recommend as a whole is stick to mostly whole foods. They could be plant-based or not. So it's all about just trial and error. Try out something that may be working for someone else if it resonates with you. If it doesn't work, then scrap it. Don't hold on to it. But yeah, be warned, just like when I made the switch, so many vegans are very angry at me. I can understand why that's happening. I'm gonna make a video talking about that in more detail. I did make a recent video on that, which you click above, but I'm gonna make a separate video that talks about stuff that I didn't talk about in that video. But it's like, I don't care. I'm not part of a cult or a club. I never have been, I've always been someone that doesn't want to fit in with other people whatsoever. So you can push me out if you want, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah, I really, really could not care less. And I think that's how a lot of people need to be within themselves because so many people care about what other people think. And then a lot of people will stick to certain things such as certain diets because they don't want to be thrown out of the dogmatic religious club that they've been a part for for a long time. And it can start to shatter your whole identity that you've built around it, especially if you're someone that has a social media platform. This is why so many people like Raw Vanna and Raw Alignment and so many other vegan YouTubers didn't tell people they were not vegan for so long because they've built this whole following and identity around it for ages and they just don't want those of hate directed towards them. But I don't care. I want to be transparent. As long as I've been honest to myself, then it's all good. So I want to leave you with one final message is just be very careful about diets that you get on and make sure you don't come from a dogmatic approach like I've done with multiple times before. And like I said, it's been to my own detriment. And it's just horrible to suffer longer than you need to because it's already hard enough to be in this human world with everything that's going on, all this crazy stuff, without putting this on top of you as well. And I want to live the best human experience possible. I want to thrive as much as possible. I want to be as happy as possible. I want to have the best relationships and the most full, enriched life possible. And for me, the vegan diet and also the raw vegan diet, another point was stopping me from meeting those needs I have within myself. And then it doesn't just make me suffer, it stops me being as productive as possible to share important messages that I have to share with the world. So it's not just me suffering if I'm not thriving, everyone else does as well and it's not allowing me to actually fulfill my life purpose and passion as much as possible, which is making people feel the best that they can feel because there's so many people that are just feeling absolutely rubbish within themselves. 
So that is just food for thought. So that's the end of this video. Any questions, leave them down below. Don't forget to like the video down below if you like it, and don't forget to share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.